Okay, I went down to the basement and I hooked up the water pipe for this. And what I've done is I've run both the hoses into a bucket. I'm going to turn this on and see which one gets hot. The hot one will connect to the hot side of the washer, the cold one to the cold side. Um, the hot water heater is directly beneath us here, so this doesn't have to travel very far, which is a good efficient setup. Uh, and I should be able to get hot water before I fill up the bucket there, so we're going to give her a whirl. Okay, the bottom hose is hot, so that's the hose that I'll hook into here, and what I'll do is uh, I'll pull this hose up, i got a fresh new washers, go into the end of it here, and I'll put them in there, and I'll attach that to the back of the machine, like this, and we'll be all good. Alrighty, I've got it, uh, <clears throat> I've got the water hooked up. I got the plug-in plugged in, I've got the drain hooked up, the drain runs from here uh, around and up into this pipe here which runs down into my drain system. Uh, and I went ahead and puttied up the hole down there in the floor. I had a couple other holes here in the floor where previous washers and dryers have been installed here before so I went ahead and puttied those up too. Um, and my next move is to go downstairs and wire in the electrical box, the, the plug-in for the washer. At that point we can go ahead and run a load through this which will give me a chance to make sure I don't have any leaks in my drain down in there. I don't expect I will but I always like to test that. And then we'll be ready for the dryer. I'll go ahead and wire the dryer plug and then make some measurements and cut my hole in this wall for the dryer vent to go out. So first thing is uh, go ahead and wire that. I'll go in the basement and I'll get that done. Okay I've got everything wired now. I wired the uh, plug here and I checked it with my drill and it worked. This is the uh, 220 plug for the dryer and I'm grounding the ground and hitting the hot wire on both sides of the pole and that works. So the dryer's ready, the washer's ready. All I got to do is set the dryer up here and cut a hole in this wall. So the first thing I'm going to do is clean this place up. I've got tools and stuff scattered all over the place. I'm going to clean this place up and slide the washer back into place there, get the dryer in here, measure where the hole is going to go, get my vent kit and everything out, and install all of that. And probably what I'll do is like throw a sheet or something over all of this while I'm cutting that hole because that's going to make a heck of a mess. I think what I might do is drill it from the inside, just drill, draw a circle drill it out with a big long drill and then go to the outside and peel out all of the wood and stuff so that most of that hopefully will stay outside and not be inside here in the floor down in behind the washer where I've been working so that's kind of the plan so first thing I'm going to do is just clean up a good bit